As you are waving your hands, receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Just wave your hands. Just wave your hands. That trouble I will go. The lifter will lift you up. The blessing of God will locate you. The power of God will locate you. Your case is expired. You are blessed and favored. Amen. You will not die. Amen. Your children will not die. Amen. Just wave your hands. Bless a cabra solote to Brazilis. Lessiki Brazolo da so. Masakarara Batula. Just wave your Let me see your hands. Ramata solo Brazil. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. You are favored. You are highly blessed. Highly anointed. No more, no more soul, no more sickness. Amen. No more poverty. Amen. No more untimely death. Amen. As you are waving, the Holy Ghost is waving Amen. with you. Hello, church. Wave your hands and receive your miracle. Amen. Wave your hands and receive your miracle. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say, neighbor, I am blessed. Neighbor, you know, uh, we have a new team this month. Our general team of the year says possessing your promised land. Nana we people can't people how can you possess your promised land? He said, be in Christ. True being in Christ, we have subtopic. And number two, holiness. That holiness will lead you to become a Christ-like uh, if you are not in Christ, you don't have access in the promised land. Those who are in Christ have access in the kingdom. That is why we said be in Christ. And how can you be in Christ? Practicing holiness. Then I'm going to be Faith. That is the thing. And I style it like this. The divine principles and revelation of faith. The divine principles and revelation of faith. Without faith, it is impossible to achieve your promised land. Before I start, in, in Romans. 14 verse 23. Rome Fuma 1423. He said, If you are not of faith, you are a sinner. Be Barbara boy. say me Put that as our text. If you are not of faith, you are you are sinning against God. Bible of Bada came in a bibbin in fact, come and say, See, you came here. Tell me, we are born in 14, verse 23. And I roam for my 14, 23, come and say, Billy Bowery. And the definition of faith is vital in our life. 
Then a bibini in Bako, what about some on Pro and Brab, but yell out for a fa came. We start what is fate. O blob lock could not deem me on bibini term and AM tape. I yow in Hebrew account. Hebrew Fuma, Manamako, bibini Barbara, Hebrew eleven verse one. Hebrew eleven one of my midi, there, sir. He said, Fate is an assurance of things we hope for. Bibini term and AM and AKA and AKM and Domacam and last a palm and AKA and none of me. Evidence of seed who couldn't see. Then about Toro Caria, Yakalemu Bogan, Tora Palm and AKA. I want somebody to read NIV. NIV, come and go yard, the Bibini term and AA did a NIV Bible is an assurance of things you hope for. Evidence of things you couldn't see. Bibini term and AM and AKA and AM 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 of what we hope for. Bebeni tseme ne yema ne bino mene nana wadi miye miembra miembra bai labo pa mene yekiye ye. It's a confidence. O mene binge kange kwa mene wadi mene. Whether you like it or not, make us be confident that whether we like it or not, that this thing must come to reality. Bebeni tseme ne yeke bine mene o mene nana wadi 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 mene yebo pere pa bo bine mene yo bine mene nana wadi miye. Yes. An assurance about what we do not say. Is that assurance of what we couldn't see? But why by kie ye na omana toroko na gamba re a kie ye na na wale mi ye? For faith, nobody vet us to be confident. Baby, in ke omana ko kromo omana pray be bini na na mi ye. And give us assurance that we couldn't see. Na na omana ba na toroka re gamba bo pa ye bo omana ma miembra miembra bo pa mi ye kie ye ko pray mi ye. God's word. Yes. Psalm 1998 Bibini temene ye ma ne ba ya omene nana wadi mine miyembra miyembra ba la selebe nana amini ye pray kiye ye ko premene ye Every every person has a plan am I right Yes sir keme do me keme la na ton roro fa keme me wala mai miya o You have a dream keme sa da wa wadi mi ba la pa amini ye bra da wa wadi mi You have a plan keme do me keme la za ton wadi mine ba la mra pa ay premene Faith is the tool that will give us an assurance and confidence to what we couldn't see, but hope in our heart that this thing will come to reality. And my pamene even on my own over me, my bibini term, and I get a key even on my go away where I buy a member pamo me. I need a club, I need a club. I'm a bravo pelezizos for the decade. And this morning, I want to teach a little before I go on preaching. A dollar bear bears you were bragging, but it told me I get a dollar salaman. Yes, read and convince us of the existence. Convince us to the existence, eh? Yes. One of what things I... we cannot see. Convince us to the things we couldn't see. Then a year one year, man, I'm not going to put away man. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to power it. But none of me, none of me. He convinced us of things that we couldn't see. That this thing, whether we like it or we come to our reality. Bibini tseme ne yeke ba o pre mene ne sele de sa o de samo sele mene mi odo pa be la re pre ke yini mi ni ki e yeke o pre mene ye. Faith is not only a feeling but a force that dramatizes your evidence. Bibini tseme ne yeke o mene ba e mi bra me o mene pa ya ber o mene kro ne da re no ro ro ber mi yoko mumbo i zonto ro ba bo pa me. Everything you see in your life is a product of faith. Faith give you ability to create something you don't know. Don't see. Any kind of object that made by person is a product of 
Faith. Faith is a spiritual power that controls us to do things we couldn't see. Faith is not just a feeling. It's a person that empower you, strengthen you to do something. If you hear me clap, let me see. I always say the definite definitions, but I will keep to say it again. Definition of But faith is the vital link between man and God. It's a spiritual vital link between man and world God. Faith is a spiritual vital link between you and your spirit. Faith strengthen your spiritual and physical mind. It give you enablement to do lie? something out of nothing. It give you dreams and give you courage to do that dream. Baba to look at Prover and Preke, Miamu Pamumini. I need a club. I'm a bravo for the Jesus Predaka. That is why my definition says faith is a spiritual vital link between you and what God. And I don't know where me Pam and Uncle Tim and Ram Bibbin Tim and Ayaka came to Bomo. Tamawimo Vruma to me, Yemi and Pome just opera and Ayemi. Faith motivates you to become a creator. God created us to create something. Am I right? So, faith activates your spiritual brain to create something. What you couldn't see in your physical, it make it real by faith. That is why our, the definition of the Bible said faith is an assurance of things we hope for. The evidence of things we couldn't see. And I speak to somebody's life. You have that faith. I said you have that faith. Faith gives you the ability to create things out of nothing. Faith make all your desire to come to real. It propound a plan and make the plan to be real. Faith give you dreams. Not only dreams, hopes. Faith give you purpose to do. Power to activate. Faith implies you to do. I give you strength to do it. With faith, the theory of faith said there is no impossibility in faith. If you have faith, can you hear me? Is in the theory of faith there is no impossibility. Faith handles stories. 
And all dicey conditions. In the power of faith. Uh, in the principle of it, everything you do, you can do it. And the physical realm is very, very vital. It's, dis it's disturbing, but the spiritual it motivates you to do it. Love for Jesus Christ. Number two definition. Faith is a spiritual force that produces everything. It's a spiritual force that produces evidence of what you couldn't see. I repeat it again. Can somebody hear me? If you hear me, clap, let me see. You. Faith is a spiritual force that produces evidence that you didn't see. I need a clap. Faith dramatizes your desire. Faith translates your plans and give you new, new ideas to execute. That is why I said it's a spiritual force that makes things happen. That you don't see. You are always meditating. Planning. And it's a desire of your thought. I want to become like this. But of this physical you couldn't. You couldn't. But that first makes you to make things Abram. I need a club. I need a club. Number three. Faith is a fundamental requirement. Write it down. It's a fundamental requirement. For the fulfillment of every vision or destiny. I repeat it again. It's a fundamental requirement. For the fulfillment of every vision or Destiny. Your vision and your destiny work together. If you don't have vision, you have you don't have destiny. Can somebody hear me? I know If you don't have vision. You don't have a destiny. And you know, vision, destiny, is a predetermined predetem result of God's creation. It's a predetermined result of His creation. That is destiny. And what is vision? What you see in your spiritual eyes is your vision. The plan you have in your spiritual heart is your 
vision. What you want to become is your vision. So, if you don't have vision, you don't have a destiny. I need a clap. I need a clap. I need a clap. Tell your neighbor, have your destiny. Have a vision for your destiny. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Vision carry you to your destiny. For the fulfillment of every vision or destiny is in hands of faith. If any man doesn't have a vision, Tell him you don't have a destiny. That is what the definition says. Faith is a fundamental requirement. It is a fundamental tool or requirement. It's a fundamental tool. True. A weapon. A machine. That you will use. To make your dream real. That is why I said. It's a fundamental requirement. For the fulfillment of every vision or destiny. I need a clap. Bravo, Jesus, As I was saying, our original definition of faith is Hebrew 1, Hebrew 11, verse 1. Through this definition, we re- apply this definition. If you hear me say, I hear you, sir. Faith number five. Faith is the gateway to your vision. And the force that activates your purpose. Faith is the gateway to your destiny. And your and and a force to activate your purpose why you came to this world. Do you understand purpose, vision? And destiny. Taraye ke mbwa mene purpose mo vision mba destiny mo maso tu ni mo elimi ya. It's true purpose. You have a vision. God has a purpose of for you Nana. that makes you to as a vision for your destiny. Nana we o mene tu yon nana ke bolu mo elimi mese tu yon nana ke bolu mo elimi ke done. E mene mo mo ene bolu mo ba ene bibo yon ma yon ara bolu mo elimi. Your purpose. Brings your destiny to real. Now we come and claim our baby to care, and a biba bomb a lambo pabo bimini. The purpose is like a vehicle that carry you to your vision. I'm gonna make people aware they come over me park. I'm gonna make people aware me again. Jini mena. A side where they come and a biba yama come. Tell us what to Joshua. Jeremiah. Jeremiah one one. Before you was born, when you are in your mother's womb, your purpose is to become a prophet. That is what 
I plan you to be. Nana we bad zili my problem. E yin blibulu me ma gono me ma imbe ateme ma imi se me ne bode bro we ka pa ike me ne me ge kemo wari mi. What is the purpose? Then we wari mi pa ba te ya oke we mu wari mi pa. The plan of God towards you is your purpose. A gono ba nana we ma ba ke blimu pala wari mi bra ke ne kri ma be mi tu mi. In Jeremiah 29 verse 10 and 11. Jeremiah 29 10 and 11. The Lord said I have a plan for you. God has a general plan for everybody. The plan for you is not evil but for good. Destiny can be aborted when your act or your thought change. When you have diverse vision, destiny can be aborted. Destiny moves with your heart. Your determination brings your destiny. Your touch control your vision and destinies. Can somebody hear me? If you hear me, clap, let me see you. If you hear me clap. Number six. Number six. Faith is a spiritual law. That will do change. Nothing can make change to be real in your life if you don't apply faith. Faith produce change in your life. There are two permanent things God creates in this world. The first one is change. The second one is the word of God. These two things, you cannot compromise it. They are certain. Nobody can change them. Nobody can bend them. You cannot use them in your own motives. Change is constant. And the word of God is constant. If you hear me clap, let me see you. If you hear me clap, let me see you. This morning, God wants to give you a, a wisdom to apply in your life. According to the scripture, wisdom is a defense. Clap for Jesus Christ. That is why I said faith is a spiritual, it's a law. That nobody on earth can bend it, can change it. Faith, you couldn't see face, faith with your naked eyes. Faith, live in your thoughts. Faith, live in your plans. That is why faith is a spiritual law that produces what evidence or change. Okay, I will say this and I, I go for another segment. According to David Ayedepo, David Ayedepo, faith is God's instrument. If you want to write it, write it down. Faith is God's instrument. For liberation. Faith 
is God instrument. Jehovah God for when ye for liberation. Ko sei me ye mi en bi mo mane ye. It is for an exploit. It yeah. is for an exploit. Ba ko won re ko deba ye mi en ye. And for a battle. Ba ka nge so bo do mo ne ye. And for a living. Ba ka nge e yin mi en pa mo mane ye. Let me repeat it again. Hello, are you writing it down? Are you writing it down? Faith is God instrument. For liberation. For exploit. For a battle. And for a living. Listen, it's for a battle. When you want to fight some fight, that's why Paul said, fight a good fight of faith. Fight a good fight of faith. That is what he said. It's God instrument that we use it to, to, to set people free from prison. Makes you to do exploit extraordinary things. Make, you use it to a battle. When there is battle with you, faith. So I need a club. I need a club. I need a club. I need a club. Need a club. Need a club. That is why its definition says faith is God instrument, not man instrument. It's is God instrument for liberation, for exploit, for a battle, and for a living. Anywhere you are, come along with faith. If you want to walk, come along with faith. If you want to do business, you cannot do business, business without faith. If you want to do this Christian work, you cannot do it without faith. If you want to do anything, if you want to have a common relationship with God, you cannot go without faith. Faith implies in every ratification of life. Every area of life, faith is applicable. Am I talking to somebody? In every living, faith is applicable. If you are moving, use faith. If you want to eat, use faith. If you want to, if you want to train your children, use faith. If you if you want to be a prophet, use faith. If you want to be a pastor, use faith. If you want to be a driver, use faith. You must use what? Faith. If you want to connect God every day and night, faith, it is possible. I need a club. I need a club. In my life, I always preach faith. So, uh, people are talking this thing, so I leave faith behind. So, but faith is a middle man that any area of Lord man will apply to achieve his dream. If you want to go forward, tell your neighbor, use faith. If you want to be an extraordinary man, tell your neighbor, use faith. If you want to build a sphere, they can give you thousands, millions. For you to build your upset. In the life of faith, there is no failure. In the principle of faith, I said there is no failure. In the journey of faith, we don't have 
failure. In the journey of faith, we always victorious. When you apply faith in anything, you will be a winner. I need a clap. I I need a clap. I need a clap. I need a clap. I need a clap. Yes or night. After my outside preaching. When I come to my house, I just sit at the the front side of my house. Holy Ghost came to me. Do you know that this month you're going to preach faith? For you to possess your possession. We are talking about your possession. Everybody has a package in life. You have a package that brought you to this world. You have a purpose that brought you to this world. You have a vision that brought you to this world. You have a plan that brought you to this world. For you to unfold your your destiny is faith. To so activate your purpose is what faith. Somebody should clap. Let me see. When you have faith, you have vision. You can prophesy. <laughs> can somebody hear me? <laughs> If you have faith, you can do victory work. Even though they, don't, they will not recognize you as a anointed man, but if you have faith, faith makes things work. Tell your neighbor, faith makes things work. Faith makes things happen. Faith does not resist. When you want to do something, Faith does not yield, does not bend, but assertive until he receives what he wants to receive. Faith, I, 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 one of my definitions of faith is faith is a strong man. But this in confident time, he took what he want to take. When faith is a good, it always comes to reality. Can somebody hear me? Now I'm gonna get off. Faith control Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit in you. The selling of the Holy Spirit is faith. Faith is the first behind every Christian. That is one of my definitions. Faith is the first behind every Christian. Faith makes you to be powerful. For every vision to be come to reality is faith. If you have faith, well, Enoch said I will not die. He couldn't die. Jesus Christ said, I'm the life and the life of God. Jesus Christ said, after death for three days, I will come back alive and walk majestically. <laughs> that is faith. Three days I will come back alive and walk majestically. That is faith. And Jesus Christ said, I'm the life and the life of God. Jesus Christ said, I'm the life and the life of God. Jesus Christ said, I'm the life and the life of God. Jesus Christ said, I'm the life and the life of God. Jesus Christ said, I'm the life and the life of God. It's succeeded. There is a story in faith that you will not apply. Faith has no double mind. Faith has only one mind. One plan. One plan. One force. To execute at a certain time. Then Clap, let me see. Bravo, Pele Jesus. Pray. Clap, let me see. Bravo, Pele Jesus. Clap, let me see. Bravo, Pele Jesus. Pray. So then, when I preach this faith, 
Something must happen. Am I talking to someone? Your plan will come to reality. Yeah, you can do it. Tell your neighbor you can do it. You can do it. Don't blame me. You can do it. There is power in you. You have power. You have power to execute a plan. You have power to preplan the plan. You have power to make things happen. Because you are created like the image of God. Every image of God has great faith. But if you don't have work, it became die at, at that moment. That's what the Bible said. Faith without work is dead. Faith. We have three kinds of faith. Maybe I can say four. Number one, dead faith. Number two, little faith. Number three, great faith. Number four, violent faith. Clap for Jesus Christ. Let me count it again. Dead faith. Little faith. Great faith. And violent faith. If you use dead faith, it will destroy you. If you apply little faith, it cannot work. The type of faith that works is great faith. Everyone say great faith. Great faith. Everyone say great faith. Great faith. And violent faith. When there was a storm, when Jesus with his disciple in the sea, there was a tempest. And Bible Barasa Adawen Pame. Very strong speed bridge came on board. That one turned to a stone. Then I Try to bring destruction. The disciple of Jesus has a, a little faith. All the disciples, including Paul, has what? A little faith. But what happened? They applied their death and little faith. It couldn't work. Everyone say, hey! Hey! I want to ask somebody, do you have that kind of faith? They apply little and dead faith. But it couldn't work. Tell them it couldn't work. Dead faith cannot work. A little faith cannot work. So they, they call another, they use the little faith to call another, connect to another faith. You can use your little faith to call. Yes, young, I have a problem. That is a little faith. When you order, a little faith is only used to call to meet pastors, prophet to assist you to pray and achieve your dreams. You must bigger than that little faith. Tell her bigger than that little faith. <laughs> Clap for Jesus Christ. Bravo Jesus We have how many kinds of faith? Four. Four. Dead faith, little faith, great faith, and what? Violent faith. When the sun came, they used their little faith to call Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, save us from this storm now. And Jesus, we, we, we are perishing in this uh, sea. You, we know that you can do it. Jesus, wake up. That is Jesus, wake up. 
pray. If you cannot do it, call your neighbor to pray with you. That is the work of the little faith. I need a club, I need a club. Tell your neighbor something must happen in my life. Tell your neighbor something must happen. Something must happen. Good things must happen. If you hear me say a, a greater amen, somebody there. What they did, Take him, yeah, man. they used their little faith to call Jesus. Jesus, we couldn't do it. Jesus, so when came out Help of us, day. Master Jesus. Oh God, Jesus, I told when him, Jesus man, was yeah. awake, Jesus, oh, he squeezed his two eyes. When he saw him, that there was a, there oh, is a storm. Oh, At that moment, Jesus did not apply the wisdom. But what he did, he began to rebook the little faith. Oh, my disciple, oh, man of little faith, you couldn't do this. Jesus faced this storm. Jesus back at the By the reason of anointing of the Holy Ghost. Now we tell me, crow me, go bam on a brother. Jesus couldn't use force. Jesus will crow tarago. At the wine pillar, at the wine pillar, go by. There is power in faith. Not that your 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 physical can do it. Just say. Kuro, I'm gonna be with you. Blue, my me, 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 me. But I get clean and get get the power. My brother, fire. Jesus said, "You storm, get out, be calm. You breeze, you also, oh yeah, hold your peace. It's it's over." <laughs> Hold your peace. You hear me? Jesus. Song man is on board. Jesus, when song man is on board, lesser people give way. Am I right? Yes, sir. That is why God faith as a strong man. When strong man is on board, all, all other little men are giving way. Jesus Christ said, Jesus, in my life, you some stop. I am on board. You stop. The disciple of Jesus Christ told the storm is strong. Jesus Christ to do when to do But in case of Jesus, but Jesus when Jesus Christ was on board, every evil storm stop. Evil plan stop. And I speak to somebody's life. This is the day that Lord has made. If you hear this message, everything will be possible in your life. I need a club. I need a club. Bravo, please, Jesus. I need a club. Bravo, please, Jesus. I need a club. Bravo, please, Jesus. I need. In Mark eleven twenty three. Mark from eleven twenty three. Did they All things are possible to them that believe. Oh, but uh, you do me your last a post a post like a bag a period of multiple premini. Mark 9, verse 23. Mark Fuma 9, 23. But if you read from verse, let's say 20 or uh, 19, there about 20, 19 of room empty there, sir. There was a man they brought to Jesus Christ. Can we have got Jesus here? Me tell the disciple. If your order is not there, please you can do it now. I'm not blah blah to do. I don't do a good prayer. I know God for them. What I'm from a bomb when he. But the man doesn't know that this has only little faith. Can I go? I'm not anymore. I'm not going to collapse. Bring it now. I'm not going to move. So they use their little faith to take out that secret, but they couldn't. Man, to do one or two of them and I cannot be really cool. I recommend John Temple time. Peter begin to use his little faith. I bind you. Oh, yes, yeah, sickness. Get out. But sickness cannot go with a little faith. Peter, when I cannot be really cool, I bind you. I bind you back up. Man, John Tarkam, bra. I need a club. I Bravo, please, Jesus, pray. Bravo, please, Jesus, pray. <laughs> okay. Another Andrew came on board, bind it, couldn't. Andrew, Bob, Bob, power. John came by no way. Every disciple stood there. But no way. Suddenly Jesus appeared. The man who owns the boy began to run to Jesus Christ. Master, 
And this boy is my boy. He's very sick. When I came, I couldn't see you. So I used your, I told your disciple to cast out the demon. They couldn't. Master, Master, can you do it for me, Master? Master, can you do it for me? When you cannot do, you use apply a great faith, a great man of God to do it for you. Then I went to him and I said, "Do you believe in the Lord? Because I am going to ask the Lord to give me a prayer." Clap, clap, clap! Bravo, praise Jesus, pray. Bravo, praise Jesus, pray. Clap, let me say, clap, clap, clap. Why more bravo, pray? Why bravo, pray? At that moment, Jesus began to speak in tongues. But the bravo part of Jesus, I can feel it. With his hand, and he said, "You sickness, foul spirit, leave this body right now." Do I have an angoma pressing? And this boy fell on the ground, and this foul spirit left this boy instant. He said to his disciple, "O men of little faith." Oh, Kalapi bini na na wale mochu ama. Peter interrupted. Ah, how can this be? Why couldn't do it? And then Peter was kind of woman and got bored. Ah, I got to amend. Woman, the problem came here. Pow. He said, "This kind of problem, if you want to do it, is include prayer and what fasting." And Jesus, my problem. Remember, I told you to put the for you to have a great faith. But tell me, remember, go go tell me, woman. For you to have a great faith. What, what you are going to apply? You just write it down for you to get have a great faith. And everybody in the back of the dormant is like, get Coloma, call me and Pam. By hearing and reading the scripture. Blah, blah, yeah, man, and we will be faith coming by hearing and hearing the word of God. Baby, no, man, and Barre, Barre, and we will be now by hearing and reading the scripture. Number two. Prayer and fasting. Third. The last one. Giving your life to Christ. Jesus and so I don't believe in the name of Papa Father. These are the four principles that we will apply to attain what a great faith. Now, but my God, Jesus, brother, I'm a double believer, Papa. I need a clap. I need a clap. Why, brother, for the Jesus, brother? I need a clap. I need a clap. Why, brother, for the Jesus, brother? For you to have a great faith. What you apply is three powers. Number one is what? Hearing and reading the word of God. A blind but he must hear the power of Jesus Christ. That make him to have a great faith. Oh, my name Jesus Christ. Oh, my name is Nakanami. The woman with the issue of blood hear the fame of Jesus Christ. But to the part, my woman could have finished by the man, but Jesus Christ. There is a man on board that can do every sort of miracle. They hear, they heard about the the power of Jesus. Me, the man, but none can we make clear to me. Can we buy a man? Me, me, none we are a come me, me, but none. They hear the fame of Jesus. Jesus Christ, but none. That only Jesus can do. So blind Bartimaeus approached him, whether he don't have faith or not. He approached him because at that moment God gave him the ability to have a great faith. So, but Mr. Brabham, pardon me, Toro Bow, we make a call. Bring this word for me. Bro, faith is growing every day. Faith can grow. Through these three forces, your faith will grow. From little faith to great faith. Salt, 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 sal
God instruments for liberation for exploit for battle and for a living you can live, you cannot live this world without faith faith is bigger than your son if you want to write it write it down Faith is bigger than your first son. It's greater than the money you have. Faith is bigger than millions of naira. When you have faith, drop it before any other thing. Faith is the only tool that you have to acquire all your plans and your destinies. If you want to build that estate, the first instrument you will have is not money, it's not tractors, but faith. Faith bigger than your tractors. You may have all kinds of money without faith. That your faith, your, your money will destroy one Clap, let me see. Clap. Bravo for Jesus. Clap your clap, clap your Bravo hands. Clap Jesus, your hands. Clap your hands. Bravo for Jesus, brother. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you this thing. Faith is a currency. In the spiritual field, faith is the highest currency. In this world, we have physical currency and uh, what? Spiritual currency. Then, and spiritual currency. But what is that? The second currency, the name of that one. Tige, come and tell me that name, the currency. After dollars, naira, pounds, we still have another currency that they use to buy in this world now. That is the okay, highest yes. currency. Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, that that money you will not see it with your, you cannot apply it physically. Unless you must be inside computer. If you don't submit computer, you cannot use this Bitcoin to buy something. But Bitcoin to apply faith, faith is bigger than a Bitcoin. Faith is the highest currency that reigns in the whole white world. If you don't have faith, you will not be Power or act at the first to use your money. Let enable you to use your money in the right way. I give you courage to use your money. See this my definition. Faith is a spiritual currency. If you want to write it, write it down. Faith yeah, is a spiritual currency that we use to buy things in a spiritual market. Is a spiritual currency that we use to buy things in a spiritual market. Every human being has asset in a spiritual life. If you cannot buy things in the spiritual market, it cannot happen in this physical. The spiritual things control the physical. 
Spiritual money controls the physical money. So if you have a spiritual currency, you have the highest currency. So faith is a spiritual currency that we use to buy things in a spiritual market. But this world, we have two kinds of market that we used to buy. We have natural world markets and we have spiritual market. Spiritual market until you become spiritual. If you are not spiritual, you don't have access to buy things in the spiritual market. If only spiritual people have the ability to buy things that move to that spiritual market and buy what you have. If you hear my voice, just clap, let me tell you. Let me tell you. For this world, if you cannot utilize this, your brain, you will be empty in life. You will be novice. Your physical life is doing nothing in this field. Until your spiritual brain controls your physical brain. This structure is just a carton. I need a club. I need a club. So if you are not a knowledgeable somebody, so you are bigger than a fool. In proverb. Proverbs, he said, "Wisdom is too high for a fool." But I, I put it in this one. Faith is too high for a fool. Foolish people cannot use it. Can you use it? If you are a fool, you cannot use it. To acquire your destiny. Proverbs said, Proverbs wisdom is too high for a fool. But I said, I said, faith is too high for a fool. If you are a fool, you can't apply wisdom. If you are a fool, you can't apply faith. We use, you, we use wisdom, apply wisdom to acquire. Wisdom is under faith. Faith is the father of wisdom. Without faith, there is no wisdom. And faith coming by hearing, as you acquire the faith, then the faith will give you wisdom to apply what you want to apply for. Today, I want to just the introduction set of faith. The next month, the next uh, week, I will, I will talk about the principles of faith. How to have benefit through faith. And the revelation of faith. Clap for Jesus Christ. 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 Faith makes you to be obedient to God. Without faith, you will never believe the existence of God. That is why it is the gateway to your destiny. And today I prophesy that by the reason of the faith, Whatever trouble troubles you, you will be victorious. I said you will be victorious. If you are in this ministry, 
Please have faith. We use way to conquer every battle. With faith, there's nothing permanent. Let me tell you, change is constant. The journey of faith, there's no failure. So let me tell you, I don't know your plan, but you know your plan. Tell them what you do. You know your plans. What are your most motive for this? Your future. What and are your motives? motives? God wants to make them real in your life. Do you want to be a great man? Think well. Think wisely. You will become a great person. Let me tell you something. As we hear this word of God. Can somebody hear me? This word will lift you up. Through faith it will lift you up. If you are doing a business, let me tell you, you will succeed. Am I talking to somebody? Because of faith you will succeed. Through faith, you have divides of wisdom. To apply from petit trade to old sale, from old sale to what a supermarket. When your faith grow, your life grow. When your faith grow. The moment your faith grows, you become a great person. You can be great within you. When you apply it, you will become a great person. Greatness is inside your thoughts. Greatness is inside your thoughts. Am I talking to somebody? Greatness is inside your thoughts. If you want to be great, you can be great. If you want to reach, you can be rich. If you want to see vision, you can do it. Tell your neighbor you can do it. Tell your neighbor you can do it. You tell your neighbor you can do it. If you have a sickness, I want you to stand up. This moment, we want to use, we want to apply faith. I need a clap. Blah, 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 okay. Faith is not the something that you will not apply. The Bible says faith without work is what? Dead faith. We want to execute our faith. Three things that you will execute. The following uh, week. So come and time. testify. Faith wants to dramatize his power. He's a middleman between man and God. It is only faith that influences the Holy Spirit to act. If you don't have faith, you cannot influence the Holy Spirit. According to Hebrew 1, verse 6, faith without faith, it is impossible to please God. That means if you don't have faith, you don't have a common relationship with God. Without faith, God will not hear you. Without faith, you will not please God. If you don't please God, you cannot possess your possession. I want to put faith at work. You going to pray like this. That my father, my father, whatever sickness in my body, Holy Spirit, I use the faith of Jesus and with my faith. And the faith general, Jesus Christ, to apply that by the reason of the faith of God in me and, uh, and Jesus. If faith can work, 
I don't touch you. Oh, your sickness. Leave my premises. Leave this body. From today onward, I don't want to hear this noise in my body. I don't want to hear this noise in my stomach. I don't want to use this noise in my head. Give your life to Christ. That from today onward, all your sickness, leave my body, leave my presence. By the reason of the faith of Jesus Christ, I command you to leave. That is your prayer point. Tell them. My faith tell me that the Holy Ghost is working now. And I saw the Holy Ghost moving around the That he came to take away sickness now. Look at the faith of Jesus Christ. So you're going to pray this prayer. Oh yeah, don't pray again. Go take from. Say, my father, my father. Whatever sickness, problem, problem in my life, and in my environment, disturbing my destiny. By the reason of the anointing of the faith of Jesus Christ, I command all your sickness to leave, to leave my body in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. Use your faith. Apply your faith. That sickness must go. That sickness must go. That problem of life must go. Use your faith. Let's go to the city. 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 Let's go Let's so break up. Let's go break up. Let's go to the city. 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 Are you praying? Are you praying? Holy Ghost is visiting lives. Is visiting lives. Lives. And a pretty man. Bodies. And a good time. And a good time. And a good time. And a Rasokopresilasi, <laughs> In Jesus name. Amen. Tell them, are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? Let me tell you, the Holy Spirit ministered to me just now. That your, what you need is available now. Take them. It's time to take your, take your, tell them, take, take your destiny. 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 We're going to pray this prayer point. Why may I tell you? According to St. John 14, 
Say whatever thing we ask in your in the name of Christ. Every time I apply faith with the word of God. That is what the scripture says. So this moment, all my plans let it come to reality. What I want come to reality. Begin to count them now. Number one, number two, number three. Let it come to reality. At the end of this year, I need the, at the end of this month, at the end of this month, I need this. I need this. I need this. You need to pray this prayer. Please. My father, my father, you said in your word, whatever I ask in your name, you will do it. So this moment, let all my heart desire come to reality. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Talk to God in prayer. 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 It will come to reality. 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 My brother, you pray. Begin to ask God. Let my heart desire come to reality. Let all my heart desire come to reality. Oh God, let it come to Oh God, let him come to live. Oh God, let him come to live. Oh God, let him come to live. Oh In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're going to pray this prayer point. Ephesians 6, Ephesians 6 verse 12. Ephesians 6, 12 for that we are not fighting against flesh and blood. Against principalities and power. In the principle of faith, faith has no failure. So, by the reason of anointing the Holy Ghost, whatever evil battle in my life, that I'm my destiny, Holy Spirit, what are you waiting for? Fight my battle. Fight my battle. All kinds of spiritual battles. That is the prayer point. I want you to ready. Say after me. My father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. Whatever spiritual battle that affects my destiny. Holy Spirit. What are you waiting for? Let evil battle. The destroyer, the destroyer, the destroyer. Turn into prayer. Turn into prayer. So don't so lie. Turn into prayer. Glory to God, Mama Domini. Nana we are praying so what do I pray? So don't so lie. Glory to God, Mama Domini. Yes, sir. But so what do I pray? Nana we are. Let me win my battle. Let me win my battle. I don't want to explain. So don't so lie. I want, I want to be victorious in every time spiritual and physical battle. Lord, time get time make me to victorious. Fight my battle so for you. Me. Fight for you. And destroy all. Holy Spirit, so me. I want evidence today. today. I want evidence today. So don't so lie. I want evidence today. So don't so lie. Rest of the place. Rest of the place. Put down the prayer. Last In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
We're going to pray this prayer point. Oh, why am I tell, tell this me. prayer point will be the last prayer point. Are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. sir. Are you ready to pray? Yes, yes sir. sir. You will talk to God. Oh, God. From today. The end of this year. We don't want to bury anybody. <laughs> In our ministry, we don't want to bury anybody. Let everybody be alive. From today, from today and coming here this time, by this time next year, we will come and testify the glory of God. We don't want to bury any neighbors. In this our ministry, our local branches, we don't want to bury anybody. Oh God, let everybody alive. Let all sickness leave everybody. You say after me, my father, my father, my father, my father, my father, my father. My father, my father, my father, my father, my father. any untimely death yeah, any untimely 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 moving untimely. around our family oh, yeah, around our throughout the, from, the from the day to the end of this year, by this time next year, oh God, we don't want to bury anybody. Holy Spirit, fight our battle. Let everybody be healthy and be victorious. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. Don't we don't to anybody. Oh, oh, God. God. Let everybody alive. Let everybody receive oh, God. 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 Oh, Cavomdoe, Cavomdoe, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. You're going to win to at least 12 people. Amen. Amen. I will not die. Amen. Your children and I, you will not die. You go to another person. Please, I will not die. Me and my children will not die. And you and your children will not die on Temple. For 12 people, go to 12 people. Move to at least you move to her wife. The last person are your wife. Or your relative. I will not die. And my children will not die. I 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 Everybody, 